Welcome to Thinking Particle 6. In this video, we will discuss the new feature we have added, the Trailborn Operator. The Trailborn Operator is a fantastic new tool available in Thinking Particle 6. It allows you to create procedurally based objects. As you can see here in the animation and playback, we are able to create really complex structures now in Thinking Particle 6. And the creation of such complex structures is really easy and simple and it gives you the real power of procedural modeling within Thinking Particle 6. We have a structure with multiple branches. It works in interactive rates. Let's have a look at the setup. Before we have a closer look, let's just turn off the various levels and branches we have here. So we start with this position born operator. It creates right now three particles. Three particles are created and they move outwards. They also have this funny bubble motion where they move in and out constantly. And this is done uh, with a motion bubble motion operator. For now, let's turn this back to one particle only. That makes it easier to understand how this new operator in Thinking Particle 6 works. So we have now one particle moving up in a bubble motion. As we already said, we are moving the particle with this operator. And now let's turn on level one. So what we want to do is create a trail behind this leading particle. I'm just turning off right now the position born just to stop creating a second level. We're using the trail born. You will see in a second that the trail born is a really powerful operator and you can do a lot of cool things with it. So when we play back now, you will see we have a nice, smooth, perfect trail behind the leading particle. The trail is really following the motion of the particle. And the cool thing is it is independent of the speed of the particle. We will always have the exact trail. It's placing the particles in equidistant uh, positions. So right now, every particle will have a distance of 0.8. And that's the really cool thing. So I've just turned on the secondary la layer. And you can see we have particles that are born from these trail particles. When you have a close look in the uh, dynamic set setup, you see we have a random value that turns on the position born by random so that we don't get for every trail particle a new born particle. As the uh, trail is created, new particles are born. So that would be our first level or second level, however you want to start the, the counting. So we are creating now from these new lead particles a new trail. So let me disable again our secondary trails there, our emitters. And we get this nice tree growing. All these particles have the same constant distance. So this is still true. The trail born operator will create in equidistant uh, positions new particles. And from these new po positions, we will born another leading particle. So, and from all these particles we see there, we want to have a trail born as well. So we turn on our level three in here with another trail born and no new particles. We could go on with this game on and on and have multiple levels. However, that's enough for this presentation here. Now we are creating the particles in all levels. And as you can see, we have still this one individual particle and it allows you to create really complex 3D structures. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos as well.